Hey guys, today we're going to be discussing ship types and a little bit about angling. The next video will feature more into angling, bow tanking and kiting, but for now we're just going to cover the ship types, the shell, shell types, shell types. So at the minute we have only two ammunition types in the whole game. We have high explosive, otherwise known as HE, and we have armor piercing, otherwise known as AP. Now, these shell types should both be used depending on the situation that you are given. Not all, all, not all the time, but most matches you play, you'll be using both of these types of ammunition. Because if you don't, honestly, you're not getting the most out of your guns. And the guns for most ships in the game are your bread and butter. Now, as of every rule in World of Warships Legends, there is exceptions, but this just means some ships stick to certain ammo types more often than others. So, like for example, battleships will stick to arm piercing the majority of the time. Uh, cruisers will stick to HE the majority of the time. But destroyers will stick to high explosives the majority of the time. Stuff like that. And there's obviously the British cruisers, which are a special bunch that only get one ammunition type. So they just have torpedoes, ammunition, and AP. <clears throat> So back on to the Kaiser for example. <clears throat> so high explosive, let's cover high explosive. High explosive is a shell that explodes on impact. Okay. This shells this 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 causes consistent damage when or if you know when when if they, they penetrate the armor. They also have a chance to set a fire. You see if one the Kaiser here it's 23%. You gotta remember, it seems that's quite a bit, quite a large percentage. This is every 26 seconds, this is a battleship HE. So it's inherently quite a decent fire chance. It's not great, but this will do, this is pretty high. It's an example to show you. <clears throat> so they explode on, on exploded contact, as the as the description says. Uh, they're doing, they do consistent damage, this is the big thing. And they. Because they can deal consistent damage and they explode the impact and they have a chance to set a fire, they're very good ammunition type. Very good ammunition type. If you see targets uh, that are lightly armoured, or targets that are too armoured for your shells to penetrate, high explosive, high explosive would be your best bet. You'll do very well, you'll do consistent damage, even if you shatter, there's a chance, even if the shells shatter, you have a chance to cause a fire. Now, I'm seeing penetration shatter, I'll explain this all later, but for now all you need to know is high explosive, has a chance to set fire on targets, uh, when it contacts the ship it explodes in contact, if it penetrates it does consistent damage, and to work out the penetration value for the majority of high explosive shells, you divide the calibre of the gun by 6, <clears throat> so 3 or 5, divided by six you get the caliber here germans are a bit special they this get this quarter penetration rule if you go over here let's go over here should not work maybe we'll go high up higher tiers then because it will see higher tiers let's go for the york so that nuremberg no what's going on here it should be higher up maybe we'll go even higher up then. it should tell you that the germans boast a quarter penetration there we go superior he pen see that above average he use penetration it doesn't actually say it but uh, this is why i said these overviews are not as helpful this can be i can tell you off the bat that the germans boast a one quarter penetration of the caliber of gun so the kaiser can pen a lot more than other battleships of the equivalent caliber Purely because it is German that has that particular thing. This is what I'm saying. Every bolt, the more you learn about it, the more you, the better you'll do on it. Stuff like that. So high explosive is a consistent <clears throat> damage dealer, and is preferably used for lightly armored targets and targets you cannot <clears throat> penetrate with your arm piercing. So this is in most cases angled battleships. Now, <clears throat> moving on to armor piercing. Armor piercing is very different. If used correctly, it can yield the highest damage, and if used poorly, it can yield nothing. So it's actually quite complicated, and it can easily take up a whole video and more explaining it, but it's definitely worth using, so I'll go over the stuff you need to know. 
no, armor piercing shells and some HE can either HE can either pen or shatter by the way, that's the thing. But armor piercing shells have one of five different results. I'll show this in the game. So I'll read the description of armor piercing shells. AP shells penetrate armor and explode inside the ship, causing significant damage to combat departments. The fuse arms if the armor is thick enough. If the armor is not thick enough, the shells will over penetrate, causing significantly less damage. This is why you don't want to be getting, you don't want to be shooting AP at like the armored targets, like destroyers, because they will simply over pen. So I'm going to use a Carl Shoot as an example here. This is the heavily armored ship, the Gangan battleship, very heavily armored for a battleship as well. I'm shooting at him at a partial angle, so what you're going to see here is going to be shatters or bounces. There's very few pens that see there. One shatter. The shatter symbol looks like it's from your, your, your shell cannot penetrate the armor hits, it simply just shatters. And it goes up. So, this is using armor piercing against a light armor target. You see, it results in overpen, so minimal damage. Really. Now, I was hoping for a follow up shot with Freon, but I was wondering a little bit, so go for a Tenryu. This is the broadside cruiser, best choice is armor piercing, though. See how it's three, three shatters there, no damage? I did say a fire. Either repair doesn't matter, but switch to arm piercing. There's citadels. You see, the damage increase is quite significant. From two shatters doing no damage to citadels. You know, more citadels. So I'm going to keep on the AP because he's given me a broadside flat uh, target that I can hit very comfortably. There we go. Back on the HE because I see a destroyer. This is what I should be shooting at, them, not the AP that I used earlier. See the difference in damage there. Don't worry about all this, this is just all me dodging, this is all later stuff. Uh, we're not doing a good job of dodging. Now, um, Freon, this is a French cruiser, it has a lot of space armor and is very prone to being overpaid because it has very little armor. I could get a Citadel or I could get <clears throat> switch to HE and maybe do more reliable damage. It does depend on where you hit French boats. This is a special case for the French ships, as you mentioned before the X Factor. Now, you see the Fusilier, he was giving me a bow on target, which means I could go right through and actually get a pen off him, resulting in damage. You see this is when when I go over the, the shell types and how to do it, you can see how you're using them, how to best effectively use them. I've switched shell types a couple times so far, and you can see the damage differences when I use the right type. I will use the wrong type. That hate that fire from earlier. Could have been from my secondaries, it could have been from the HE shells I shot out. This Wix, shoot AP, do a little bit of damage, switch to high explosive, do a lot more damage. That's the difference there. Use the right ammunition type, you can see the difference. If you continue shooting high explosive, I set on fire, more penetrations equals more damage. And look at that, of 941 health, because I switched the ammunition type, I survived that battle. If I kept shooting AP, I don't think I would have lasted much longer. Another destroyer, switch to high explosive. Fortunately it's not focusing me, because I'm going to be dead otherwise. I would fire Team Peters, but I don't know where he's going just yet, so I'm just going to hold on. Got one hit in. There's the final hit. So, good example of switching shell types. I hope this helps you out. I'm going to go into more detail about what shell hits are. So, I'm going to superimpose the, the screenshot I took from that battle on the bottom right of the screen while I continue to talk about this. So, arm piercing shells can have a number of effects on impact depending on a couple of variables. The armor thickness, location of the ship, angle, the shell the angle the angle your shell hits, and the gun caliber that you possess. Depending on that, you can get one of five results shown in the bottom right corner. So best case you want to do is a penetration. So this is all you need citadels. Not citadels. This is when a shell successfully pens 
penetrates the armor and explodes inside the ship, just like you see in the description for armor piercing. These ships, these hits do the best damage, with the exception of scoring a citadel hit, which you also need to penetrate the armor in order to get a citadel hit. Which these are essentially uh, a critical hit, the most amount of damage you can do. Maximum base shell damage here it says 3,700. That is with a citadel hit. <clears throat> Getting penetration with AP yields the best results, and besides uh, besides the critical hit of the Citadel, and it's the highest damage that your guns can do in a single shot. <clears throat> so the other option you can get is you can get a shatter. A shatter is when your shell simply breaks on contact, meaning there's too much armor for the shell to break through. <clears throat> Over penetration, this means your shell has passed through the armor without having time to arm. This means the armor is too thin for your shell, so it's best to try and find a more uh, armoured part of the ship to penetrate in order for the shell to arm. Ricochets. This ship, this means the ship is far too angled for you to shoot, and you need to find a turn to an angle flatter one, like a broadside target. Like that. Or even that. Depending on your ship, you, have, you can have better firing angles. This is another, another trait of the whole thing, but the jack of all... Uh, in the X-Factor, some ships have better penetration angles, but you want to be finding targets that are flat on to you like that. Imagine the shells coming straight from the screen to the ship. <clears throat> like that. You don't want to be shooting like when they're like that, or even like that, depending on the, the calibre you have. But you want to be shooting targets like that. Nice broadside on to you, flat angle. If it's uh, if they, if they, you get a ricochet, it's common. They're literally bouncing off the armour. They're unable to penetrate because of the angle of steepness. It's like in tanks. If you have sloped armor, it's more effective because it has a chance to bounce the shell off the armor. <clears throat> so yes, you have that. And then you have a fifth one, fifth option, which is a torpedo protection hit. Now this is simply hitting the type of armor that is designed to withstand torpedoes and results in no meaningful damage. You should just uh, in keep firing elsewhere on the ship. I'll give you a better example. I'll go to something that has quite a large torpedo protection. Let's go for the <clears throat> probably California is a better option actually. California. <clears throat> see this thick line here at the bottom? See that? I don't know if you can see that. The, the break off that kind of breaks off and like the bottom part of the ship that's extended past the past the secondaries. I don't know if you can see that, but it's the um, you see where the hull just has a different outline? That's the torpedo protection section. Quite a large one in this boat. If you're hitting that boat, if you're hitting that bit and you're just pinning that, you don't actually do it's not actually affecting the the health points of the ship, so it's just uh you've hit the wrong part of the ship and that's all you need to aim a bit lower or a bit higher. Or get a flatter angle. It's the uh, torpedo protection is a bit of a finicky uh, stat, uh, finicky place to hit. You don't you don't really want to hit it. You just want to go straight through it, or you just want to aim elsewhere. So torpedo protection through the bottom of the ship, stuff like that. <clears throat> Though where you're aiming for citadels, you want to be hitting beneath gun turrets and beneath smokestacks. So in this case, you've got four gun turrets for that. Middle of the ship is a big central smokestack, so citadel is going to be in the middle. And along the sides, you definitely will be aiming under those parts. With each of these things, it tells you about the armor and angle. The armor, the angle, the location, uh, everything you need to know about how you're doing damage to enemy ships. Now, with this in mind, there needs to be a way to reduce the damage you take, because you're going to get shot too. So, uh, for this game, in our in this game, in order to reduce the damage you take enemy shells you need to angle your ship towards the enemy shells so if I'm in this boat here that's California I want to angle my boat I don't want to be broadside on to the enemy here I want to be at this angle this angle even by one depending on the ship I want to be angling towards I want to give my chance the shells the biggest chance to shatter or ricochet the act of angling your ship increases the armor of your ship creating sloped armour, allowing for shells to shatter or even bounce off your damage, off your hull, causing no damage. Any damage you take is also reduced, since you are protecting your ship from being citadeled. You can be penetrated from almost any angle depending on where they hit, but it's very unlikely 
and I would say this very unlikely, not not impossible, very unlikely, they can citadel you from a non broadside angle, depending on your ship. Again, the same depending on your ship. Battleships are the best case for this. If you angle at the battleship, you're very tanky, unlikely to get citadel, depending on the battleship you possess <clears throat> and the battleship you're fighting against. <clears throat> so, if you're angled like this, you may take a couple of penetrations, but you're not actually going to get citadel unless they have a very lucky shot that goes through your deck armor and into your citadel. But, for the most part, angle your ship and you'll mitigate a lot of damage. The angle you need depends on the caliber of the shell you're angling against. Ships of large caliber might be able to punch through your armor regardless of your angle. And some ships possess improved penetration angles meaning you'll need to angle more steeply in order to reduce or prevent incoming shield. So, for example, if you're in... Let's go to tier 3 again. If you're in a cruiser, like the Phoenix. Okay, this boat here. And you're fighting against, let's say, the Brit American battleship counterpart, the Wyoming. The Wyoming has guns that can overmatch any part of the Phoenix. So, it doesn't matter what angle you present, it will go straight through your armour. So, best case is simply not to get shot. <clears throat> we have your uh, Dene is shooting against me and my Phoenix. I can angle against my Phoenix and If I angle my boat bow on, or a side angle like this, I could probably fight and hold my own against it today. But, this Dene has flare for piercing, you see, our equipment of AP shells only. The British have advanced, improved the penetration angles. So, instead of angling like that, okay, I need to angle even more steeply, like this, or that, or even by one, in order to mitigate and reduce the damage. Because I could probably still be citadel from this angle, or even worse, because of the British armor piercing improved penetration. So, as you see, that's two examples there. A battleship just simply goes straight through, or a cruiser with improved penetration can also go straight through if you don't angle enough. So there's tons of stuff to go on with this. Please ask questions. Please post a comment down below. Please give as much feedback as possible. And this is quite a lot to cover, and if you need help with anything, please tell me. I'm more than happy to help, and this is a guide. If it's not being helpful, please tell me. I hope this helps everyone out and today, tomorrow next time I'm going to cover angling more in detail and bow tanking and what ships should and what ships shouldn't be bow tanking. <clears throat> hope this helps you guys out now and I'll catch you next time.